With me now, the one and only billionaire Home Depot co-founder, Bernie Marcus. Uh, Bernie, thanks so much for joining us. We really appreciate you and you coming on the show. You know, the experts got the election results wrong. And do you think the same thing happened here with a market reaction? What did you make of that? Well, I, I think the market is schizophrenic to start with. And I told you last time I spoke to you that I never really understood the market anyway. But, but think, think about this a second. Why did the, why did the market rebound? Very simple reason. Number one, um, I think that investors are looking for the economy to turn around dramatically. Uh, when Trump tells you he's going to cut taxes, he's going to cut regulations, what's the first thing that happens? They create jobs. And what happens when jobs come in? Prosperity comes with it. And I think that that's the issue here. And I think that, I think that this is when stocks started to go up, and I think it'll continue to go up, because if he's able to do all the things he says he's going to do, um, I think the market will be better. I think the economy will be better. I think there will be jobs in America. And isn't that pleasant? After eight years of dismal job growth, people out of work, people working part-time, people giving up on the job market altogether, uh, guys with PhDs working in restaurants as waiters, look, we need a turnaround, and I think that Donald's the type of guy that's going to do it. I think you joined, uh, well, uh, CEOs from more than 1,000 U.S. companies reportedly wrote to Trump seeking reassurances, urging Trump to work with businesses to unite the country again. But you were one of 100, I think, executives who supported Donald Trump. What do you make of these CEOs, uh, you know, fearful now and writing to Donald Trump? Well, number one, I think that a lot of CEOs have been afraid to really support him. I will tell you that privately, many of them did support him, but they were intimidated. I, I, don't, run, I don't run the Home Depot anymore. I've been a, away from that company for, since 2002. Uh, but there was a real threat. If, in fact, the CEO of a major company came out for Trump against Hillary Clinton, you could be sure that the SEC was going to be there, uh, the IRS was going to be there, the FCC was going to be there. There's a real absolute threat. And I think for the fir first time in my life, I've never seen people so frightened of the government. And now when we see what's happening with the Justice Department and the FBI, um, it's not easy to have credibility with these organizations. It's a good point, Bernie, you make, that there's a regulatory backlash when you take on the government. Is that, is that, was that your point about oh, it's being fearful yeah. of them? Yeah. yeah, it's frightening. Yeah, it is frightening. And, and those who did speak out, by the way, uh, they did go after them. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you know, they come out, they support uh, Donald Trump, or, they, or they're critical of Obama, or they're critical of, uh, of uh, Clinton. And, you know, next morning they got an IRS audit coming in. Uh, is this a real fact? And, and I think that this is the sewer that has to be cleaned up. Right. Donald okay. Trump talks about a swamp. I call it a sewer. Okay. Bernie Marcus, thank you so much for your time. We love you. Thanks so much for coming on the show. We want you back. Always great to have you. Thanks again.